Hey guys, it's uh, Zeppa here, and today we'll be uh, showing some KO tech today. And today's video will be sponsored by Microsoft today. No one walks away. KO is a good initiator, mostly a second initiator with Sova or maybe a Sky or Breach because um, his knife is a really big part of uh, getting info around the map. I think it's really good suppressing the people, the agents, and finding out info in like a certain part of the map. So it's like another Sova dart, realistically, and who doesn't like another Sova dart? So the first map today on KO will be going over Haven lineups. All right, so for CT side, as KO, um, obviously everybody knows how the, the Utah should work mostly, but the knife is uh, mainly to get info in the beginning of the round. And I think most teams on Haven CT side will start towards A with the knife, and it would knife A lobby instantly. As you can see, the radius will get the whole A lobby, maybe back up A lobby too, but the knife is uh, used for getting uh, info early and seeing how many people are this part of the map early, and you kind of decide what their, their default is or how they play the round and begin the round. If you get anybody, then mostly most teams would start maybe with 3A. So I think if you can get two or three people with the knife instantly, you can kind of understand where people are around the map and you can play off that info. If you're not starting at A with the knife, you can always start B and throw technically the same knife, but you'll be a different part of the map. And basically with this knife, it's basically almost the same thing, but you can run around the map and be a little more freely and just help your teammates out. And if you're not starting being knifing A, you can always start C. Don't recommend this because it's not the biggest help because not many teams kind of default towards bottom C. Unless you have a, a feeling they're rushing, then obviously the knife is uh, always comes in handy. You usually want to hold your knife around the map where you think Sova or maybe Sky is droning around the map. As rounds go by, like four or five rounds go by, you can find out if you know where Sky or Sova is defaulting, and you want to try to throw the knife where he may be droning or just sky wolfing around the map and cancel it, and then you know it's a big part of the thing. You can probably read how many people are around him, and you just cancel his drone so they can't get really no information around it. The cooldown for the KO knife is 40 seconds long. So the, technically, if you're playing ranked, obviously it's like I think throwing the knife is earlier in ranked because most teams just rush anyways. So I think it's good, and you can just wait for the cooldown. Another set knife we had on Haven um, would be this B one. It's kind of risky, obviously, but once if you can clear mid and clear middle, there's a lineup. You want to have your back against the wall. See these little two squares? You want to aim at the middle of the bottom square. There you go. It lands on the middle of the top site, and then basically clears every single thing in B site. Nobody plays here, so I think it'll be fine, but yeah. And then for A, people usually throw these knives early round to catch the sewer guy if they're coming down sewers, or this one. I don't think this one is very good because you can catch the guy A-Link, so you won't know for sure if he's sewers or A-Link. So the best knife would be this one to catch the guy sewers. And if it's not that one, then you can knife A long. That's about it. We'll be setting our adventures into Breeze now. The, the knives that I start out with on uh, on Kale TT side would be, it's either I would knife elbow in the beginning of the round to see how many people are there, to see like, you know, what kind of info I can get. And if I'm not knifing elbow in the beginning of the round, I would throw a set knife like this. People have different items for this, but I would get in the middle of this uh, orange box. Line up with this, the line on the tube and just jump throw. And then the knife basically gets um, back of shop. I'm for sure I was the first one throwing this too after the, the new breeze changes. For B, you can obviously do the same type of knife, but it'll get a little deeper. If I start B, I do throw this knife. Um, depending on the team and depending what we think about the team, I can you can either knife close and gets like kind of like the whole thing, or you can knife at the back and gets window and kind of the back. But the thing is, if you knife at the back, they can technically beat the knife through the barrier and can just walk up instantly and your knife won't tag them. So it's kind of risky. And then there's another set start that I, we like to do is where I would flashback pillar, knife elbow, and it kind of just sets up my whole my, my team depending on what they want to do. Since I'm knifing elbow, he kind of knows it's clear but nobody's hitting him. And if I flashback elbow, no one can really just sprint up mid. So you can basically have your the whole mid to yourself or you can walk down elbow with that, that start. T side KO. Um, it's very good starting off A. You can always knife, as you'll see through ranks and party streamers and matches. A lot of KOs like to the knife A main now. It's just the easiest way to clear close A main and just grab a free orb instantly. And then for B, if we're doing like a B hit, um, I don't think it's very good to knife 
close because it kind of gives your position away and like because nobody really knives close and it doesn't really hit anything like if somebody's playing here i think it's just really bad positioning either way and nobody should be playing here close if anything but i think your knife is more valuable once you're out the site hopefully nobody's holding this angle as an, with an op or anything so once you're about to go out your silver will drone out clear the angles your walls are up so what i like to do is just knife back site clears back site usually he is back site and then i probably just pair it with like a just like a run throw molly behind the site if i don't hit him with a knife then I would, obviously i wouldn't throw the molly so after knifing i probably would just toss flashes behind the pillar as our team is running up and it shouldn't blind anyone I know it should be good. Just kind of say. So I think this is uh, Breeze or Kale's uh, one of Kale's better maps, which is Breeze. And I think the second, maybe even equal to being Kale's best map, is Ascent. And now we're going through Ascent. All right. So um, CT side Ascent. I would start Cat as Kale. Uh, maybe pistol round. You know, like the whole idea with pistol round maybe is uh, a lot of people like to Silver likes to drone up mid. So I just chuck that. Sometimes I just even pre-check it because it's kind of obvious or I just have a feeling that someone might drone. And if I'm not throwing my knife on Cat, then I probably will just chuck it instantly on A main. I think early info for pistol and just general like most rounds on this map, I think it's really good. I usually don't chuck my knife at B instantly because I, I, I usually have a Silver here if I'm starting with him. And he probably would just dart first. I wouldn't have to use my knife. There isn't many life or knife lineups I throw, to be honest. I think it's kind of straightforward on this map because everybody, everything is kind of a close uh, choke point. So you can either, you can always save your knife. If you feel like they're, they're smoking off cat, you can always just chuck a knife top cat. They can't really break it. And you kind of know how many people are here. How many people are here. So if you're smoked off cat and you have a knife, you kind of just want to hold this in the smoke, throw it up. And if you hit nothing, and obviously you can tell your teammates it's a fake. After your knife, nobody's here. You can always walk through the smoke, clear cat yourself. Always right click a flash and just speak with it and clear cat like that. And if you're not smoked off and you kind of think it's an A hit and your teammates, oh, it's, it's A, it's A. You kind of hear the silver droning. You can toss the knife like this. Basically clears almost all of A main and the guy probably droning A main. This is a really good knife too and supports your teammates. After you throw your knife, you know they can't really come out. You get three or four people, you say you have four A main, you kinda expect the last one to be cat, or you're just really, really late A main. As T side, I was I know for a fact I was the first person to throw this knife. Um so I aim, I put my back to this door. Aim on top of this window. Okay, never mind. Maybe a little higher. Different res for me, but yeah, the knife uh lands in the middle of the boat. Clears the whole stairs, clears the whole lane. So if you know they're not playing stairs or lane, they're most likely will be playing backside or they're playing retake. Either Molly spawn or stairs as the smokes are up, flash out, hardcore logs, no one's here. Then you kind of have an idea where everybody's at. Everything's smoked off Molly, probably either playing double site or playing retake. And you can just enter your team like that. As you can see, most a lot of people who run KO on this map will chuck this knife here, instantly bring it in the round. Puts a little pressure, you can't use Yuto. You can probably grab the orb most of the time. After grabbing orb, Kind of just reset. Maybe you can have a teammate hold A main. As your knife is recharging, 40 seconds go by. Let's just say your tiles maybe at this point. And you probably just knife cat. Cat or close mid. You kind of have an info where everybody's playing at this at the time. And now you can just kind of work up everywhere. All parts of the map, you have A main, you have cat, could be mid hopping. You can always toss a flash mid just in case you don't want to get opt. There's a little lineup I do, so off barrier. I'll just sit by the wall. This appreciates where barrier is. And I have a little lineup with this uh, shadow of this uh, thing. Aim, aim it to the right and kind of just take a step walk through. It kind of blinds up everything on mid. It lands here. So everybody that's holding mid is kind of blind too. So basically have mid for free. And I think everything about Kale's kit is the info and the flashes are like the best thing in the game. I think Kale definitely has the best flashes in the game. And the knife is just basically an Asoba dart which makes them really, really good. And that's why most teams are running on most maps. And that's about it on Ascent. And now the next map we go to is Icebox. Um, so for CT side on A, what I like to do on KO some, most of the time is either I would knife this instantly, like early round of the game, see how many people are here. Eventually people will get used to like getting knife instantly. So they'll stay back or wait a couple seconds. So throwing that knife early round is really good to get info on how many people are playing. But once people start learning, you know, you throw that knife early, you can always hold the knife and just play back retake. And then most of the time, once people, you know, they'll dark, so what dark close, so clear close, 
things like that, and they'll probably just drone from here. So if you're not throwing your knife early A, you kind of you hear the drone. You can always knife the drone or the inside nest. Like basically gets everything again, which is I think is really good. Uh, and holding your knife on this map is I think is really good too, because everything is really close and everybody has to be really close to each other when they're coming up. So you want to throw your knife on like places where they can't really break. This knife, the one I threw in nest, could be broken if people react. Uh, close, or fast enough you can kind of wall bang the knife which you know would suck but if you want to take that risk i think knifing uh, close pipes right here is really good too it'll catch the sova drone and usually if you do knife here people would follow with the drone and you'll probably catch them with the knife too you can always tell your teammates oh it's, it's 3a 4a my knife got 4a and then that uh, allows your teammates to rotate things like that and then for B, I would always usually start with somebody here if i'm playing B usually sova's like to drone instantly or it's always like to dart here. So you want to hold the dart or here, break the dart. And if you break the dart instantly, that's when they drone. And that's when you want to throw your knife and you want to cancel the drone. And once you do that, you, they're kind of stuck and they don't know what to do. Now maybe that they like kind of dry peek and then you can fire your teammates like that. You can toss a molly as they're coming up maybe right here and just peek together. And that's how kind of you like stop a, a B default in the beginning of the round. And then for retakes and things like that, you can always toss a knife like yellow. They can't really break unless like they're up sight, then you obviously don't want to do that. You can always knife bottom sight if they're here on sight, then you want to knife, get the info. They're, they're not here and it's clear. So T side, let's just start with B. Um, if I'm defaulting B now, my Sova would dart close A main or B main. Let's just say the dart's broken. Dart's broken, then kind of just jump spot. Jump spot a little. And if I don't see anybody at this angle right here, right? This little angle, I can't get off that. Then I'll just toss my knife here. Kind of clears the whole B main, right? So let's say nobody's here. My Sova gets close to B main. Drones from here. Uses his drone and just clears out the whole B main from here. You know, he should know that nobody's close anyways because my knife cleared everything. So you should be able to clear back yellow and things like that. And that's basically how you can have B main early for free. So for A, what I like to do for my teammates is just chuck an early flash like that. Pops in the middle, you can just run up. Should be nobody pushing because it should be blind. It should be afraid of pushing. But let's just say if they're not afraid to push. And I, I usually just toss a flash like that, kind of hold. And I kind of just, I usually save my knife. And my knife with the, uh, this is a knife I usually throw and a lot of people are throwing too now. If they're playing KO, it's this knife. I would land or put my back against the wall. I feel like I am, Another uh, another knife that I, I was the first person to play KO, I feel like on Icebox, they throw this knife too. And this knife basically clears the whole A site. So most of the time, if I'm not, if I'm throwing this knife, throw the knife, as they're coming up, I would flash high right. They're blind and my teammates would be scaling. Everything should be clear, clear pipes and elbow. And then you basically have the whole site if you're not hitting anybody on side with the knife. Um, so that's all for today as KO, as a KO main. Um, that's all I have, the knife lineups, flashes, and mollies like that. Honestly, like I said before, as a main KO tip would be, you know, try to try to use your flashes for your teammates and try to save your knife as long as possible. You obviously want to use, save your molly. Your molly's probably the biggest thing to, um, on KO. You want to use it either to stop sites or stop plants. You don't want to use it for just, you know, you want to just toss it, just to toss it. It goes for every piece of Yuto. You never want to toss any Yuto because KO probably has the best Yuto, one of the best Yutos in the game. So I always want to throw it for a reason. I'm going to show you guys what not to do as KO on most most maps as KO. So people tend to not use their Yuto at all as KO when I'm playing ranked, you know, and these people want to lock and, you know, get better, but um, they just don't learn. So things you don't want to do as KO is obviously flash mid, Peek for fun and die. Um, toss your knife around the map for no reason, which is, is the biggest thing. Like I said before, toss your molly for no, for no reason either. But I think the biggest thing when I'm playing with other people who are playing KO most of the time is either they just want to flash peek things and just fight and instantly die. And I think that's the worst thing you can do with a kit like, um, like KO. You have a chargeable knife that you can use every 40 seconds if you throw it right away. That helps your teammate, you know, like get info around the map. You have flashes that also support your teammate that you don't have to use for yourself most of the time. You always throw flashes for your teammates and things like that. The biggest thing on KO is try to stay alive as long as you can and support your teammates as much as you can. And try not to use it as much on yourself. But obviously I'm not saying to never use it for yourself, but just, you know, remember you're, you're an initiator, not a duelist. So you should be using util to help your teammates most of the time. Hopefully you guys can learn a thing or two. And this video was presented by Microsoft. And I appreciate everybody watching the video. Thank you.